Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Night Stranger back on the channel. And today, this is my experience of disappearing for a year. For those who don't know, there was a, there was a big YouTube, Instagram, whatever trend that went like, I'm going to disappear for a year. And I'm going to seek no distractions. And my life is going to be completely pure. And I'm going to be this person where I'm going to work in silence. This year... Um, I deleted my social media, right, except for my YouTube account. I deleted my Insta account, deleted my Snapchat account. I literally lost contact with most of my friends, you know. One of the funniest things I used to tell my friends is that don't text me on Insta or Snapchat. You're not going to find me because I'm not going to reply because I don't have an account there. What I used to tell my friends that don't expect an answer from me on WhatsApp, <laughs> like the, the, the thing you use to text in the UK um, uh, for five days. And this was literally what I told my friends. And, you know, reflecting on that period of my life, I'm going to be straight up honest. It was one of the toughest times in my life, segregating myself off from people. You know, it was a very difficult time. And I'm going to be straight up. I don't recommend anyone to do such a thing for themselves. I think... From this period of my life, from October 2022, when I first watched this video, if you haven't watched this video, it's a very popular video it's with like 10 million views. It's like, I'm going to go disappear for a year. Um, uh, and, and there's like a really, uh, like, it etched into my mind, the slogan. I was like, I'm going to go disappear for a year as well. And from the time of October 2022 to October 2023, this one year of time, I basically interacted with very, very minimal people. And let's just start off from the psychological damage that that dealt on me. You know, like, it, it's really weird because I, it was introversion, right? This type of thing that happened to you when you're trying to stay away from society, you're literally trying to be yourself, you're trying to be, be the best guy you can possibly be. This is introversion. You're basically saying that everyone else is ass and I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be superhuman, you know. And this is not great because every single person that you used to trust in your life, you stopped trusting it. You had, you realized you had no one to rely on except for yourself. So many influences out there are going to say, yo, that is what you exactly what you're trying to do. When, when you have no one to rely on, the only person you got to rely on is yourself. But this is not a period where you have no one to rely on. Neither do I ever think, unless the world is ending and you're the only human alive, that you're going to have a period of your life when you have absolutely no one to rely on. I think there is always help when you are in danger. There is always help when you seek for it. These are the scenarios where you literally block off every single person in your life. To say that I'm going to create this, this, this situation, this climate for myself that is so hostile that I can only rely on myself. This is the idea of disappearing for a year. You're quite literally disappearing for a year. You're saying no social media, no friends. I'm not going to go out to parties. I'm not going to interact with people. I'm going to do my own things. And that's tough. <laughs> I'm going to be so real with you. That was one of the toughest periods of my life because I had no one to rely on. I don't know if you guys felt this, but there was this moment in my life, you know, it was probably in February or something. I was staying up at night and, you know, like, it was this one moment when I was just on my phone and I was scrolling through, you know, my WhatsApp contact list, you know, the thing where you scroll through your messages. And I just scrolled down and I scrolled down and I scrolled down because I was texting nobody. But I just realized I had no one to speak anything to. You know that feeling that you're completely abandoned in this world? Like you just have no one, no one to speak to at all. I don't think you understand the psychological trauma that that like, literally had on me. You know, that's why I would really recommend against, you know, psychologically going through something like this. Because human beings, as cliche as it sounds, we do need other people in our lives. Stepping out of October 2023 and start making more friends, you know, going to parties, you know, you know, fitting in. Let's make it even more cringe than it actually sounds, you know, 
you have to fit in, in a sense. You don't have to absolutely follow the ideals that everyone go down. If you don't want to go down their route, you could say, I'm going to deviate from them. That is okay. But the fact that you're not socially interacting with everyone and you think that that's going to pay off, I'm going to be so real with you. You're not that 1%. You're not that 1%. I'm not trying to beat you down or anything. You're not that 1% who's going who's gonna to be okay with disappearing for a year and making progress, like insane progress. I'm talking about making like hundreds of thousands each month. You know, there's people. There's people. The people who are championing for these kind of life, lifestyles are people who actually made it out. But how many individuals are there who actually made it out of this disappearing for a year? I cannot deny that there are pros that came out of this. I cannot deny there were many positives in the sense of establishing new habits. You know, I started journaling, I started meditating, things I still do today. You know, I started um, focusing on my studies. But you also got to take into account I was not happy in that year. As simplistic as that sound, without people, it's hard to derive happiness. <laughs> without people around you to celebrate your achievements? Think about it. Think about, let's say you got the goal that you want in your mind. Let's say this goal was to get 100,000 YouTube subscribers. Big goal for everyone, right? You know, that's why you want to go disappear for a year, right? That's the reason why you're grinding so hard, right? Then the moment you get it, trust me, when you watch that number go up, go up, 100,000, you start celebrating you'd be like yeah i got it you look around you there's no one you look around you there's no one there's no one there's no one cheering you on there's no one think about it think about how how that feels you know like you don't have to make yourself abandoned like this you might already feel abandoned in your life you don't need to segregate yourself off more you know try to join in a few things we need people around us supporting us cheering for us You know, even in my toughest times, I had these one or two friends that I actually relied on. I didn't completely disappear. Because I know if I completely disappear, it's not a thing where you could temporarily erase your name from the world, then come back a bigger person. That doesn't happen for 99.99% of the people. That doesn't happen for 99.999% of people. We're dealing with a lot of luck here. People might say, oh, hard work accounts for luck. No, it doesn't. Look in your life. If we're going to be straight up observational, the people who make their wealth must account for a degree of luck. There's a degree of luck that you figure out your first YouTube algorithm. I'm going to be straight up here. There was one video that I made got 10K views, you know, and that got my channel going, you know. That was straight up luck. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have any previous planning. I just did a video about three techniques to study smarter. I didn't think anything about it. I just did it. And look, it just, it just blew up and my channel is doing quite well right now. You know, These are very small trigger points that you don't realize that really just accelerate your growth. And sometimes you just don't get it and that's okay. You know, I hate to beat people down. I'm not a guy who's beat people down, you know. I'm a guy who, like, literally go for your dreams, you know. But there are staples in your life that you must realize. And there are many people out there who are not admitting to themselves. I think humility is such an important thing. Everyone out there, 99% of the people watching here are average intelligence. I'm going to be straight up with you. We are all, you and me, we're all average intelligence. Don't think that we're going to be the next Steve Jobs. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm not beating you down. You're not. But could could you make as much wealth as Steve Jobs? Yes, you can. It's just it's just you don't have the techno technological mind. It's it's some things you cannot train for. Think about it. Let's say a normal footballer. Let's say player X trains. Let's say he trains thirty hours a week on football. Thirty hours a week. How much is that? That's five hours a day in football, right? That's, that's a lot. When you're playing five hours a day of football, you're training a lot, not accounting for rest days and that. 
let's say Messi, Lionel Messi himself, trains five hours a day. And these two people have the same exact lifestyle. They live the same exact way. They have, you know, the same exact people around them. Yet there's only one Lionel Messi. Isn't that clear? There is one Lionel Messi. You cannot say to me that Lionel Messi trains 24 hours a day and no other athlete does that. You cannot say to me. Yeah, who's the greatest? Lionel Andres Messi. There is a degree of talent in everything that you do. I will not hear it from anyone that they say talent does not, does not equate success. To an extent, talent equates success. Luck also equates for success. But I'm not saying that you cannot get successful. I'm just saying that these are factors that we don't admit to ourselves that contribute to our success. And when you're disappearing for a year, you're hoping that you get lucky. You are hoping that you get lucky. You might work hard, but you're also hoping that you get lucky. And one of the most, most deprecating things is that when you work so hard and you don't get any results, it's when you work so hard and you segregate yourself from every single human being out there, you start to doubt everyone, you start to have anxiety because you're doubting everyone out there. Then you realize that you don't become the person that you aspire to be. Don't go down that route. I tried it for a year. It's not that I'm not proud of myself. I had to go through so much maturity. I had to go through so much anxiety. I doubted everyone around me. I thought these people were trying to bring me down. You know, that's what the internet tells you. That's what the media tells you. You don't need to think like that. You know, like at the end of the day, people could be mean. <laughs> people might want to bring you down. You know, that, that's society, but not everyone does. You don't need to doubt everyone. There are close friends that you should keep close to your heart always. You should trust them always. You should, get, you should show them loyalty and they would do so vice versa because human nature, predominantly, when you're younger, is kind. I don't think people are trying to rip you off every single day. I think there's people that do that. I don't think everyone does that. I think you could have a degree of, I'm going to go work very hard, but you got to balance that out with meeting with people. You got to balance that out with meeting with people. Um, so that's my experience. I would say this year of extroversion that I had, much more, you know, went to some parties, had some friends, you know, because you look forward to these things. For example, back then I would work for seven hours a week. And I got to tell myself how much of that was, was productive. Because a lot of it wasn't. Because when you have something on Saturday night that you're looking forward to, I'm going to this party I'm with my friends. You have a motivation to work. Life is all about motivation. Let's say when you're working on your YouTube channel <laughs> and then you try to make seven videos a day and let's say you get no views. You don't get the motivation. How are you going to motivate yourself? You don't have people around you. How are you going to motivate yourself? You're literally in your own head all the time doubting other people. How can you motivate yourself? Let's be real here. People help. I think we're trying to accept the truth here. I think social media... I think so. I don't think you should watch social media as much as you do. So that's one good thing. I had to disappear for a year. Didn't watch social media. But was I still defined by the social media values that I previously saw? Yes, I was. So, you know, delete YouTube. Stop watching me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But um, think about it before you go disappear for a year. Think 